Real life Polydonia, real life Polydonia, real life Polydonia in Old Ricky. 20 years ago this year, actually, I had uh, this tattoo made in my back, which reads real life. So that was thinking about what real life might be and where that might be. And is it the things that we do every day or is it something different or could it be another sort of way to live? You know, I've made works, real life death, real life Rocky Mountain, the International Bank of Real Life Spiritual Gold. So in a way, the, the works that I've made over those 20 years, in my imagination anyway, provide a sort of bit of a window onto another kind of space where you can maybe just have a think and look at the world in a slightly different way for a moment and then maybe carry that with you afterwards. The way I work, I suppose, broadly speaking, it's kind of um, comes from a sort of some kind of conceptual premise or it's about ideas anyway, first and foremost. So I never can uh, indulge myself to be too sort of intuitive or too sort of feel that's kind of phony, you know, I don't really get that. However, in music, you can't really be anything other than intuitive, really. So I love just sitting with a guitar and messing around, a couple of chords come out, a little melody goes on top and something sort of happens that's uh, there is a bit of magic there, something which is more than the sum of its parts. And sometimes, you know, that's coming from somewhere way at the back of my brain, I think. And sometimes when I'm developing a sort of bigger project, I sort of have some music things going on there, have some art things going on at the front, and then maybe they kind of eventually meet and kind of coalesce in the middle somewhere. And that sort of, you know, I've sort of used these different parts, the intuitive, the more kind of, I don't know, cerebral or something, you know, and they come together. Again, hopefully this thing, which is not either of those things, but, but something else. I think for me overall, I mean, it really is about some kind of dialogue with an audience, a conversation with somebody who's in the space, standing in front of the work, and hopefully I've made it in such a way that there can be quite, you know, stimulating things to think about there that can be explored on a number of different levels, you know but also that it can be kind of enjoyable and dynamic and why can't looking at art be as much fun as kind of listening to music? I kind of try to keep things open and available and uh, engaging. Yeah.